YouTube, 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 YouTube. It's your boy, Mr. Outliner. I'm back in the day. I'm going to just show y'all how to do a quick little fade, but mostly we want to focus in on the lineup part. Now, y'all see this a, this a rough, this this stick. This, we working with something right here now, guys. You know, this ain't an easy task, man. This ain't an easy task, but we're going to make it look easy. You know what I mean? Um, so, I... I guess he been growing his hair out. He decided to get it braided. Now, I like when they come in with their hair already braided because I know exactly what I can cut off and what I can't cut off. You know, uh, the only thing that I don't like about when they have it braided, freshly braided, is the stylist uh, put so much grease or oil or whatever all over the scalp and forehead. You see his forehead? Like, it's shiny. Like, because it's so much product on the scalp. Like, man, come on, man. How I got to get, how I'm going to get a crispy lineup on that thing? You know, I got to do this. I got to do that. You can't really wash the hair because, you know, you just got it done. That's, that's part of it, you know, to make everything, you know, lay in right. But anyway, we just going to make our first guideline go all the way around y'all know the drill you know make your guideline all the way around try to get it as close as possible make it real clean on the bottom so when you do the fade it transitions well now once you're done with that part you want to take your one guard Open the lever, and you want to take all the book off. You just want to go down and get that done all the way around the head. We want to get it to a level where we can control it. We can see it. We're trying to smooth it out as best as possible. After that, we want to come with no guard. We got no guard. We want to open our lever all the way up, and we want to go up about an inch, a little bit over half an inch, and we just want to remove, try to remove that bottom line, but we're going to make a guideline, another guideline above it uh, using this open method with the adjustable. But the key here is to smooth out the bottom Try to get it to where the line is all almost removed so we can see what we're doing and then we'll come back and then we'll come with the, the half guard open to close to knock out the bulk on top. Like I said, once we get done with that part, we just want to take our half guard, open it up all the way, and we want to clean up the rest of the buck above it. Now, using a one guard here, I didn't use a one guard at all on this haircut, but using a one guard here, uh, it probably wouldn't take as much off, and it probably would be an extra step that you didn't need. So we're gonna. Uh, we're gonna use the half guard, but we're gonna manipulate it. We're gonna have it open, but we're gonna use it at an angle. We're gonna use the corner of the blade, and we're just gonna work it down until we get the blend that we want, and we'll come back with our no guard open and do some more detailing work uh, to get the fade to look exactly how we want it.
Now, when you're going through this fade, and like I said, he had a lot of grease on his head, so it's taking me a while to just get the blend exactly how I want it because I have to keep brushing the hair off that's being stuck to the scalp uh, from the product that she put in his hair, right? But with detailing, you just want to take your time. You want to use the corner of the blade. You want to pick your parts that you want to, you know, smoothen out, blend in. You can see that's exactly what I'm doing. Stretch the skin if it's if you see if it feels like it's too hard to, you know, get into a, a spot that's bulky. You want to be able to just stretch the skin. You know what I mean? So look, I might fumble over a few words or something, but you know we're gonna keep it real. We're gonna keep it raw. You know what I mean? So um yeah so you just want to you know just keep working your way through the haircut you know slowly but surely you know what i'm saying you don't want to leave anything that looks bulky you want everything to blend just right Now, we're going to turn around on the other side. We're going to use the exact same method. We use no guard, open on our adjustable, go up about an inch, a little over half an inch, somewhere you know, close to it. Clean that bottom line up as much as possible. Come back with our half guard open to blend the rest of the sides in to make it match the other side. So next we got the liner part and you know we're going to use our Mr. Outliner detailing mission. If you ain't got a bottle, get you a bottle. You know what I'm talking about? Go to my web page. I'm going to leave it in the description. MrOutliner.com. Pick you up not one, not two, but about three bottles of this thing, man. Because it goes really fast. You know what I mean? But anyway, uh, you want to spray it. You want to let it dry. You want to comb it. Well, you want to brush it down the way you want. And you want it to dry so that the lineup can be crispy. Now, I'm gonna use enhancements on this, but you can already see that I'm making sharp, crispy lines with this. And like I said, this is with him having, you know, product on his hair and stuff like that. I'm still able to make a crispy line in spite of 
all the product that's on his forehead. Now, I did his vertical bars first, so I can kind of see, you see this side is higher than that side. You can obviously see that when you do the vertical bars first, right? Then what we want to do, we want to start in the middle. And we don't want to push it back. You can use exactly the hair that's there. You know what I mean? You just want to, you know, with the spray, the Mr. Outliner spray, you see I'm able to make sharp lines, right? And that's because of the spray. It holds the hair in place, makes the skin dry, does what it needs to do, doesn't clog my tremors. I can get a crispy line on it without enhancements. Now, this is... The, this lineup is cool. Definitely cool. Definitely natural. I'm okay with it. You know, this is a, a early 2000s lineup. You know, nobody was using enhancements. It was just, oh, you get a sharp line. You know, they had probably started using the black eye spray around that time because you had the Steve Harvey lining and stuff like that. So people had kind of, you know, it was introduced to the world that way from Steve Harvey. But it didn't become really popular to like, I would say, like 2010, 12. No, I, I say, yeah, about 2014, actually. Around 2014, at least down south, you know, uh, by 2014, so uh, enhancements have been around at least that long and longer, but popularity-wise, it just became that. Now, what we want to do, we want to come back, use our Mr. Outliner Detailing Mist again because this works as a dual agent. Not only does it help you get the line of the crease, but also when you get ready to hit it with the hair fiber, it's going to make the hair fiber stick in place. Now this will make it hold, it won't be too hard. It'll be just a nice hold, nice medium hold. It's not like a super duper hold. These hair fibers are the truth. I'm gonna make a video on just how to use these hair fibers. I got a new thing of hair fibers that I've been using. Y'all see what they doing, y'all see how they working. You know what I mean? So anyway, um, yeah, so you see how crispy that is. I added it to the line where I, look where I'm putting my card. I'm putting my card exactly where I made my line up at, right? And also, I'm making it bounce off the card. These are keys to making it look. Putting the card exactly where I created the line. You see that? And look, look at that. It looked natural. I'm just filling in light spots. It looked natural, but we give them that, uh, we're going to give them that roster. that, uh, you know what I mean? So, boom, look at that, man. We, we in the game. He already in the game. Now, all we got to do is a little bit more to it and bow down. Now, after we get everything together, what we want to do is just come back. We, we let it dry. We let it sit. We want to come back and tap the line again to get maximum sharpness, crispness, Mr. Outliner is not even a word, but we, it's a word today. You want it like Mr. Outliner, right? You want that thing super crispy, right? You know what I'm saying? He paid me $100 for this haircut, no cap. He really gave me $125 because he made me wait an extra 30 minutes. I ain't asked for the $125, but I think he loved his haircut so much to the point the way he's like, man, let me just tip dude, right? So I got $125 for this haircut. Now, if I have to make another video on, on schooling y'all about clientele, branding, marketing, all these type of things because I feel like some people get in the barber industry and think, oh, I could just start making $100 a haircut. It's a method to the madness. It's rules to the game. It's, it's an approach to the game. It's a system to the game. You know, and if you watch some of my past videos, you probably picked up on some of this game. If you buy my ebook on my Instagram page, I'm going to leave it in the description. You probably pick up on some of this game. In my ebook, ebook ain't nothing but $15, man. Get it. It's some game in there, to be honest with you. I ain't lay it all down flat for 15 but I gave you something to work with for sure. Right? So make sure you get the ebook. Now, you see the lineup. Back to the lineup. Because this thing is, this mean, man. This lineup is mean, man. The fade is mean, man. Y'all see what it is. So, anyway, 
Um, I just wanted to show y'all a, a real good lineup, how to do it, how to go from zero to a hundred on a haircut. You know what I mean? When he first started, it was zero. Now he had a hundred. That's what he paid me a hundred. You know what I'm saying? So look. Leave me the leave me some comments down in the comment section. Is this a hundred dollar haircut? You know, considering it's a Saturday, I was already off. I stayed a little longer to cut his hair. It's things that go into consideration. There's gonna be some people in the, in the comments be like, "Man, I ain't paying no hundred dollars for a haircut." That's cool. We ain't talking about you. We talking about the people that would pay a hundred. If you would pay a hundred, is this a hundred dollar haircut? And if you ever paid a hundred dollar, hundred dollars for a haircut, what was the reason why you paid a hundred dollars? Cause it's not a lot of barbers that just outright charge you a hundred dollars. Cause normally my haircuts, they start at like forty dollars, just basic haircut, face forty five, enhancements fifty, right? So I'm anywhere between forty and fifty bucks for every haircut, right? So anyway, that's what I'm talking about. Leave a comment in the comment uh, uh, box. Also, follow my other page, man. I left the intro to my other page on this video one more time, so y'all follow that page too for my style and all that stuff. But don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, and tell a friend. You know how we do it. Until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. I'm out.